hi children uh, shall we go to the today's class the topic what we are going to discuss today is electric field this electric field electric field okay before going to this topic okay you just recall what you have learnt in your 11th standard okay in gravitation that's why in the topic gravitation okay there i think you have studied a uh, a mass a body having certain mass okay yeah a body having certain mass m okay it has a gravitational field around it every mass every mass is having a gravitational field around it okay therefore what is a space around any body having certain mass is what is called the gravitational field okay therefore how to define it uh, uh, even more proper definition means it is the space gravitational field means it is a space around any body within which its force of attraction can be felt by any other body having certain mass that is m not any other body okay therefore it is the space around which its force of attraction can be felt by any other body therefore here this mass this body of mass m that is what is called the source mass i think you have seen last year we have seen this source mass why source mass this produces the gravitational field and here m not okay here when you are bringing it if see you are checking where is the gravitational field okay therefore when it is here when it is kept here it will not because it is not inside the gravity inside the tradition uh, territory of uh, our source mass why because therefore it will it is not inside the gravitational field of our source mass therefore it won't experience any force of attraction and once it is brought inside then it will experience definitely a force of attraction due to our source mass okay therefore in order to test in order to test the gravitational field effect of the source mass gravitational field of source mass you are using here m not correct so what is m not is called as test mass is what is called test mass i think we have seen this with above now what, how to define gravitational field gravitational field produced by any body is defined as the space around the body within which its force of attraction can be felt by any other mass by any other mass okay so this is about gravitational field okay now come back to electric just i am giving you the what is the relation actually okay see here now you come to gravity electric field say in electric field what is that instead of the, the gravitational field mass by the electric field is produced by any charge okay therefore just the role played by mass is played by charge here okay around the mass gravitational field is there therefore around any charge electric field will be there okay hope you are getting the point okay therefore now i have as a, i have a charge q this is a source charge okay therefore that around the space around the this charge it produces electric field na therefore 
around the charge here there is a electric field there is a electric field here okay right this is okay therefore now i want i have therefore how to define the electric field electric field produced by any charge is the space around that charge within which its force of attraction or repulsion can be felt or can be experienced by any other charge any other charge okay therefore this any therefore it is once again i repeat it is the space electric field what is electric field due to a given charge okay yes the space around that charge within which its force of attraction or repulsion can be felt or can be experienced by any other charge okay therefore here which is producing the electric field capital q okay therefore this is what is called our source charge this is producing the electric field and which is which is meant for testing the electric field produced by the source charge that is q not so q not here it is what is called test charge are you following therefore now is it clear therefore what is electric field electric field it is the space around electric field produced by any charge is the space around a charge within which its force of attraction or repulsion can be felt by any other charge okay therefore see this is the uh, actually i have drawn this one see here mm, uh, this is the uh, electric field that is boundary up to this the electric field is there electric field of our charge capital q is existing but q not here it's outside therefore it will not experience any force of attraction or repulsion at this point at this point let you give some name let it let it be a at a if a charge q not is at a it will not exp because it is outside the electric field but once it comes inside then it will experience a uh, what is that uh, force it experience a it, it will experience a force okay what force attraction or repulsion depending upon what is what charge is produced here q not test charge used to be usually it will be a positive charge test charge okay and therefore this q may be positive or negative source charge may be positive or negative if it is positive then q not will experience a repulsive force and test charge is negative means it will experience a attractive force okay but test charge if you are using a charge for testing the electric field produced by any source charge mean that usually it will be a positive we use positive charge test charge used to be positive okay right therefore and this concept of electric field actually was introduced by faraday okay michael faraday and now see uh, what is the criteria for q the test charge test charge why it test charge means it is meant only for testing the electric field produced by the source charge right so which means that it should not have its own electric field correct if it has some electric field around it and once it comes inside the electric field of capital q then it will influence because it has its own field it will what is that influence the field produced by the source charge so you cannot study the electric field produced by the source charge properly okay the actual effect of the source charge if q not is having its own electric field so the test charge q not you are using no that that should be the value q of q not should be what is that it should be infinitesimally a small charge q not okay should be what is that uh, 
infinitesimally small charge okay so that it cannot influence the field electric field produced by the source charge are you following that is why it is called test charge okay it is a charge only but it's what is a very very small charge so that its own electric field can be neglected you can it's negligible okay right so this is about what is that electric field okay now next one is what is uh, electric field intensity next one what is electric field intensity what is it see just now i told you what is a charge this is the source charge it is producing a electric field okay therefore now um charge electric field now this is um what is it my test charge here okay see so now when i am bringing this uh, the test charge q not inside okay and i am keeping it at different different points first i am keeping it at this point this is a let it be b then after that i am keeping it at c after that i am keeping it at d okay so i am bringing q not uh first it it is outside the electric field of uh, uh, capital q source charge so it will not experience any force because it's outside okay there is no influence of source charge now but once it is brought inside the electric field of q that is given by the boundary is given here okay therefore definitely it will experience a force whether it is force of attraction or repulsion right okay depending upon our source charge if a source charge is plus q means what is that it will experience a repulsive force but i am bringing it and i'm bring first i'm keeping it at b okay and after that c after that at d like that i'm bringing closer closer if i bring if i'm keeping first at b it will experience some force why because it is with, well within the electric field right it will experience some force force of repulsion right measure it after that when it is kept at c okay therefore what it will do it will experience whether it will experience the same force when the charge is brought very closer to the source charge okay here also at b also it is experiencing a repulsive force at c also it is experiencing a repulsive force at d also it is experiencing a repulsive force but what is the uh, what is the magnitude of the force the magnitude of the force at b it will be i think you know very well it is very uh, uh, it is uh, far off from the charge so the influence is less so what is that a force will be force of repulsion at b will be less therefore you can say force of b force at uh, experienced at b force on q not at b is fb it will be less less and d it is more correct so which means that though there is electric field okay um, electric field of, of the source charge is produced up to this extent okay up to what is it here but the pro, the strength of the electric field is not the same at each and every point at different different points the strengths are different at different points the strength of the electric field is different that strength of the electric field okay is given by at any point is given by what is called the electric field intensity this is what is called electric field intensity therefore what is electric field intensity at any point is the strength of the electric field at that point that's it electric field intensity at any point is what is it it is nothing but it is the strength of the electric field at that point okay is it clear right now now how to measure the electric field electric field intensity strength of the electric field okay for that see i have 
Hmm. Okay. Now my electric field actually see this is the okay boundary up to which the charge test charge no not test charge a source charge can influence any other charge right now what i want now is see mm, see this and all i do okay now i want to find out okay electric field intensity electric field intensity at any point okay that point is a okay so because i told you strength is different at different points therefore electric field intensity is nothing but strength of the electric field the electric field intensity will also be different at different points so now to start, what is that i want to find out the electric field intensity at this point therefore what should i do so what you have to do is Uh, by definition, first I'll tell you, electric field intensity at any point. Okay, electric field intensity at any point in an electric field produced by any source, any source source charge is defined as what is that? It is nothing but a force experienced by. it is a force experienced by a unit positive charge plus 1 coulomb unit positive charge unit positive charge for plus 1 coulomb correct unit positive charge when it is kept at that point when it is kept at that point same okay therefore what is once again i'll tell you what is a electric field intensity at any point in an electric field produced by any source is defined as okay the force experienced by a unit positive charge when it is kept at that point so if i want to find out the field at this point keep a unit positive charge here and find out what is the force okay experienced by the unit positive charge at b that gives you the electric field intensity r to b okay is it clear therefore this once again electric field intensity at any point is defined as the force experienced by a unit positive charge when it is kept at that point force experienced by unit positive charge when it is kept at that point is it clear right therefore once again so my point actually this this point is um here once again this is a point and this point is uh what is the uh, uh, distance from this displacement this is what is that r the distance of that point concern my intro point of my interest to where i have to find out the electric field intensity it is at a distance that is r uh, therefore vector is r vector right okay therefore see if i want to uh, as i told you it is you have to keep a unit positive charge fine and for c what is the force experienced by it but the problem is practically unit positive charge is a very large charge but it cannot be a test charge it cannot be a test charge definitely why because it has it is very light la la large charge therefore what is that it has a very strong electric field around it okay when you are keeping a unit positive charge at a definitely this will presence of this will influence our original charge original sorry original field produced by the source charge okay therefore okay definition says that it is a force experienced by a unit positive charge at that point that is called the electric field intensity but practically it is not possible because one coulomb is very huge so what can be done for that what i am doing is instead of but what is a mathematically okay but practically what is that it is not possible why my one coulomb is very huge so it has a strong field around it once i am keeping it in the electric field of source charge it will influence it which i don't want 
okay so that is by what i am doing i am going to keep to what is that that is a problem so how to solve it so for that only what i am doing i am keeping what is that test charge this is what is called a test charge you know what is a test charge it is a infinitesimally small charge which has a negligible electric field around it okay therefore let me use a test charge okay keep the test charge here q not here okay and see what is the force experienced by the test charge at that point okay let f be the force experienced by the test charge okay at a point which is at a distance r okay therefore what is the force experienced uh, by force force on a test charge test charge okay it is at r at r, at a which is a distance r from it that is let it be f r okay that is equal to f r right but what is that it is this is the force experienced by a test charge that is q not test charge q not therefore okay force on a unit positive charge okay that will be equal to a charge where at a that is at a distance a is at a distance r here also at a okay that is equal to it is the force experienced by the test charge but i want the force experienced by unit positive charge therefore divided by q not okay therefore that is nothing but force experienced by a unit positive charge is nothing but e what is e e is nothing but electric field what is e e here is nothing but electric field intensity at e at e are you following so what is that i cannot bring a unit positive charge and keep at e but definition says it is a for electric field intensity is nothing but force experienced by a unit positive charge so what is the remedy keep a test charge which is infinitesimally small charge see what is the force experienced by it okay therefore that force divided by per unit charge per q not gives you what is that electric field intensity at a okay therefore how to even if i want to i want to write this even with a properly if i want to write e can be e of where e here e is e of r hmm e at r correct e at r okay therefore e at a uh, at a at r means what is r a is at a distance r okay now for e that is equal to okay you can write because q not where here here i am not telling anything about q not what is the value of q not it is test charge okay but i want to emphasize here so what can i do here limit okay q not tends to zero q not tends to zero f of r by q not so this is the expression for what the electric field intensity at any point okay due to a source charge which is at a distance okay r from it r from the charge okay therefore this is about electric field intensity okay force per charge therefore what is the direction 
direction is nothing but electric field intensity this is the formula direction is direction of e is same as that of direction of f because f by q not q not q not means it is a scalar okay therefore q not charge is a scalar therefore what should be direction of e e is same as of f same as of f okay right hope you are following right now next one next one let's okay let us go for unit and dimension unit and dimension of dimension of what electric field intensity therefore you know that e that is equal to f by q not okay therefore what is your that is therefore what should be the unit therefore that implies what is the unit unit of e is nothing but newton per coulomb newton per coulomb okay then what is the dimension dimension of e that is nothing but newton force m l t power minus 2 divided by q not that is a t okay therefore i into t na therefore a t therefore which is equal to m l a power minus 1 t power minus 3 m l a power minus 1 t power minus 3 so this is the dimension is it clear dimension of electric field intensity okay right now let me give you one problem okay see calculate uh, okay calculate the force or an electron in a uniform electric uniform electric field means what is that the direction on change uniform velocity what is it is a direction and magnitude both are same at each and every point for uniform electric field okay therefore electric field whose uh, which is same at each and every point okay both magnitude and direction that is what is called uniform electric field of 5 into 10 power 4 newton per coulomb due north due north so this is the question okay therefore what is calculate the force on electron in a uniform electric field value is given due north therefore what is uh, f force you are asked for force f the for f that is equal to what is that q q not into e correct magnitude okay the for with the direction also if i have to take means therefore that is here f force that is equal to what is q not here q not is nothing but here e electronic charge that is okay therefore here what is electronic charge here q not here is nothing but e that is equal to minus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb okay therefore you can say this one as q not minus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 okay into 5 into 10 power 4 okay so much of newton therefore that is nothing but therefore f what is f f that is equal to minus 8 into 10 power minus kitna hai minus 15 newton minus 15 newton okay do not because why because e for the force is not therefore it is do not but minus Negative is there, na? No? What is nothing but the negative because it is a elect 
electron. If it is a positive charge means there is no problem. But here electron means negative is there and here negative gives you that is very very important here. That, that is nothing but you can say 8 into 10 power minus 50 Newton. Okay. Due south. Due south. Very important here. That's why I have chosen this problem. Okay. See F is equal to Q naught E. But Q here is electronic charge. Elect electron charge you know that it is negative. Okay. Therefore, what is that? If you you have to take that uh, negative charge into consideration. Therefore, that gives you the direction here. Therefore, what will be? See here, the forces do not means electron will be what is that? Experiencing uh, uh, a force in uh, sorry, the electric field is due north. Therefore, electron will be experiencing a force due south. Okay. Is it clear? Okay, that's it. Okay, now next we will go to the next topic. Next topic is electric field. Intensity due to a point charge. Due to a point charge. Electric field intensity due to a point charge. Okay. For that. See, I have a point charge. There is source charge here. Due to a point charge. That point charge is due to a point charge. That point charge has to be source charge then. Then let me have to be first one. This is uh, O. There I am keeping the power at O, our point charge is at O, okay. I am interested in finding out the electric field intensity at P and P is, for example, P is, what is the position vector from Q, P is at a distance, let it be R not, okay, R not, okay. So, what should I do? I have to keep a Unit, what is the test charge here? I want to find out what is that, uh, the field at P. Okay, therefore, what should I do? I have to keep a test charge at Q0. And the, okay, therefore, what is the force experienced by Q0 at P? Therefore, now, what is force I just I am making it colorful so that it will be interesting for you. Okay. So force okay experience by Q naught okay at where P due to capital Q. Okay, that is nothing but F. That is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q, Q naught by R naught square. Okay, then R naught unit vector. R naught unit vector. Okay, therefore, if you say that Q is a positive charge here, Q is, let me first, okay, if it is a positive charge, in which direction it will be experiencing a force, it will be moving in this direction. So, your force will be in this direction, correct? Force will be in this direction. Okay, therefore, when the R, uh, now R naught will be, what is that? The direction of R naught is like this, from Q to P, P when it is extended, okay, you will be getting, right? Now, therefore, what is the electric field? What I want is the electric field intensity at P. That is nothing but E. E is nothing but what is it? F by Q naught. Therefore, that is equal to, therefore, what is that? That is equal to... 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R naught squared R naught. Okay. So, this is the 
expression for the electric field at any point due to a point charge. Okay, the, this is the expression. Okay. Hope you are following me. Okay, this is right. But let it be tapo. This is the expression. Okay, right. Now, next one is the same thing I want to give in terms of quotient vectors. Now, to very easily, I have taken Q at the origin itself. If Q is not at the origin, okay, so what will be? How to find out? In terms of quotient vector, I think already we have seen, no? Same thing, okay. Therefore, next one, see, my charge here, the uh, source charge, this is origin, but source charge is here. And my, what is that? I am interested in finding out the electric field intensity at P. At P. Therefore, I have to keep a test charge here. Therefore, test charge, what, what is a test charge? Q0. I am keeping Q0 here. Okay. Therefore, now, what is the... Uh, let this point be A and let this point be P and at A source charge is kept and at to P what is a test charge is kept, Q0 is kept, right? Therefore, what is this? This is a portion vector of Q, capital Q, source charge. Let it be Ri and Ri, okay? And this is R0. This is R0. Okay. Default, what is that? Q is a positive charge. We are, source charge is a positive charge. Okay. Test charge is, default it is positive charge. I am taking source charge, positive charge. Right. And therefore, uh, what will happen? It will experience, it will be repelled. Therefore, force, it will be repelled in this direction. Right. Therefore, my force here will be in this direction. Correct. And what is this portion of this vector is R I naught, right? This is R I naught. This is enough to find out uh, what is the electric field intensity, okay? How, what is F force? Same thing, force on Q naught. Q naught at P. Okay. Therefore, that is F. That is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught divided by, okay, R. What is the, both are, what is separated by R I naught now? Therefore, R I naught. The distance of separation between capital Q and Q naught. Therefore, that is R I naught, the whole squared R I not unit vector. Okay. Therefore, I want, therefore, that is F that is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught divided by R I naught cube R I naught vector. Here it is unit vector. Here it is a vector. Okay. Therefore, what is F? That is F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught by R I naught the whole cube can be written in terms of portion vector that is nothing but R I naught. Once again, R I naught vector is equal to what is it? R naught minus R I. R naught minus R I because why R naught this R I plus R I naught that is equal to R naught correct triangle of vectors okay already we have seen okay therefore I can write here it is R naught minus R I the whole cube okay and it R naught minus R I the vector. Okay, this is the expression for the force experienced by Q naught, okay, at P. 
but what I want therefore electric field intensity intensity at P that is okay that is nothing but what is that that is E that is equal to F by Q naught force experienced by a unit charge okay therefore that is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught okay Q by R naught minus Ri the whole cube R naught minus Ri is it clear okay therefore this is the expression for the electric field at any point due to a point charge in terms of portion vector. The portion vector of each charge with respect to origin Ri and R0. Okay. Both the charges capital Q and Q0 are kept at a distance. Displacement vector is what is that? Uh, portion vector is Ri and R0. Therefore, how to express. Is it clear? So this is about electrical intensity due to a point charge, right? Therefore, now next one. If electric field intensity due to group of charges. due to group of charges okay therefore now I want to find out so many charges are there see here okay so there are so many charges which are at different what is it here Q uh, so many uh, charges that is uh, Q1, Q2, Q3, okay, etc., etc. And Q1 at a distance, what is that? R1 from the origin and Q2 at the distance R2 and Q3 at a distance R3. And I am interested in finding out the this is my point of interest what is that this at this point where i have to find out the electric field this is r naught okay like that n number of charges are there means how to find out so it is that you have to find out the electric field okay due to each and every charge okay and find out see here E okay that is equal to first in, instead of writing going for E what is the force the for, force on here what you have to do you have to keep a test charge key okay therefore force on Q naught okay due to Q1 that is equal to that is nothing but what is that 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught okay Q1 Q naught divided by what is that it what is the distance here it is R1 naught okay the whole squared R1 no, you need to vector. Okay, that is nothing but this is what is that force on Q naught due to Q one. Let that be F one. Okay, that is F one. That is equal to. Okay, let me post this due to Q1 
zero one. Okay, that is f one that is equal to this. Like that, f two. What is f two? Force on q naught due to q two. That is f two. That is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught q two q naught divided by r i. What is it? R, r. This is. What is that? This is. This is your r one zero, and this is r two zero. Okay, like that. Therefore, it is r two zero the whole square r two zero. Okay, considering all r, what is that positive charge? I am not going for what is that? Q not is the charge is positive. All Q and Q two Q three all are positive charges. Therefore, like that. If you therefore, what is the total force? Total force on Q not. Is F okay? F that is equal to F1 plus F2 plus etc. Fn n number of charges are there. Therefore, that is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught. Okay, and here it is Q naught. Q naught is there now. Therefore, Q naught you take Q naught is common. Q naught. Okay. What is that? It is sigma. Okay, i that is equal to one to n. I is equal to one to n. Q i divided by r i not the whole squared r i not unit vector. Okay, therefore that is nothing but. Okay. Therefore, that is nothing. But if I want to write in terms of that is equal to q naught by four pi epsilon naught sigma i that is equal to one to n. Okay, q i by okay r naught minus r i the whole cube. Okay. R not minus R I vector. Okay, therefore it is sigma I that is equal to one to n Q I R not minus R the whole cube R not as R. Okay, therefore this is the force. This is the force. But what I want therefore electric field intensity. I want electric field intensity at P. For that only, I have kept at P a uh, what is that? A test charge Q naught, and I have found out what is the net uh, total force on Q naught. Okay, therefore, what is the electric field intensity at P? That is nothing but okay E. That is nothing but what is the F by Q naught? Therefore, that is what is that? Okay, therefore, what is e? E that is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught sigma i that is equal to one to n q i divided by r naught minus r i the whole cube r naught minus r i. So this is the expression for. The electric field intensity, okay, at a point due to group of charges. Group of charges. Okay, so that's it. Okay.